Hello everyone, this gospel reflection is for the Solemnity of Pentecost. It's actually our last Sunday gospel reflection that we're going to do since we've kind of ended faith formation. So I hope that you really enjoy these reflections. I enjoyed being able to put them together and give you something to think about during your week. So today we're not just focusing on the gospel reading. I also want us to look at the first reading. Our gospel today comes from John chapter 20 verses 19 through 23. You can also open your Bible to Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 11. But first follow along and let's hear our gospel reading. On the evening of the first day of the week, the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sin you forgive are forgiven them and whose sins you retain are retained. Now go ahead and turn to Acts. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native tongue? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt and the district of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongue of the mighty acts of God. So this weekend we celebrate Pentecost Sunday when we recognize the Holy Spirit when it came and descended upon the apostles. I think that this reading with our gospel are just so beautiful. In our gospel, we hear of these frightened disciples who they were hiding up in an upper room. They didn't know what was going to happen to them. Then Jesus came and sent the Holy Spirit to be with them. And then weeks later, we hear of these apostles going and boldly proclaiming their faith. They no longer were frightened and fearful, but they had courage. You see, the Holy Spirit is God's gift to us sent to be and dwell within us to give us courage, to go out and live joyfully. What are your fears? What's holding you back from living as God desires for you to live? God doesn't want you to be overcome by fear and uncertainty. He doesn't want you to be filled with anxiety and stress. So today my challenge for you is to write down on a little piece of paper something that scares you. And then I want you to fold that paper up and give it to the Lord. Go to him in prayer and ask for the Holy Spirit to inspire you to no longer be fearful but to live courageously. Have a great rest of your week, and I can't wait to see you all soon. Bye-bye.